Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So this is going to be my next entry into the D-Day group build. Um, again, another excuse to make up one of these vintage classics from Airfix. Uh, I'm not too sure whether the six pounder anti-tank gun was in um, Normandy. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it was, uh, but the Bren gun carrier certainly was. So um, yeah, it would be um, perfect for this group build. Um, this is going to be one video again. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you the back of the box first of all. So there you can see the um, decal callouts and obviously it's just uh, one colour really apart from the wheels I think on the uh, gun carriage. Um, let me show you the contents so you can see that I haven't started. So there you go, it's still all in the poly bag uh, ready for me to start uh, building it. Um, I'll probably try and build up the crew on this one. Uh, I don't know how they um, fixed to the model whether they're freestanding around the gun um, or whether they're in the Bren gun carrier. I've got an idea they're freestanding so I'll give that a go I think. Um, obviously if I fail for whatever reason then they won't appear in the rest of the build. So the next uh, time you see this it will be constructed so I'll catch you in a bit. Okay guys so the uh, construction part is complete. Um, I just wanted to show you an issue with this kit. I have seen one or two other people build it and they've just left it as it is. But as you can see by this um, white uh, plastic putty, there's quite a bit of a gap at the front there. And as I was putting this together, none of this upper structure was uh, was on. Forgive the pink knife, that it used to be my mum's, so I just keep putting a new blade in it and use it. Um, what I did was um, I fitted the one of the sides first, then I fitted the back, then the other side, then I fitted this middle piece here. I didn't fit this, okay? Then, because this side comes all the way to this point, I was able to fit this front piece and that's where I knew it had got to sit in order for it to fit in this position because there was this huge gap I was worried that I was putting it too far forward and then there'd be gaps in between these two points but the actual thing is it can't fit any further forward I don't know what it is it just will not um, fit in the you know at the very front here so I fitted all the the perimeter of that and I'd fitted this cross piece. The reason I suggest you do that first and let all the glue dry is that then you can fit this middle piece um, and you can fettle it in order that it fits in between these two points. If you don't then what tends to happen is it pushes this further forward um, and then you have a bit of an issue that it doesn't look right. So as I say, I did the side, the back, side, um, middle piece, and then the front. All right. Um, and then, as I say, I've used plastic putty to fill that gap. And I've used plastic putty to fin fill some of the, the sinkholes that are in there from the, um, the moulding. Um, the gun um, is really weird. Um, it rotates. Uh, these arms move as well. So you can lock them up. Um, the barrel goes up and down. It is really fiddly trying to fit parts to this um, when everything moves. The only weird thing is this arm doesn't sit um, flat at the base there. It sticks up in the air. Um, so I may have to do something with that in order for it to do that. So the next um, <clears throat> part of this is to get this thing painted. Um, I shall give it a primer coat of Chaos Black, I think, and then I'll use a hairy stick to, to paint these up. So you'll probably see this uh, next um, all completed. Um, I need to paint the crew as well, so, so yeah. So I'll catch you in a bit. So here is the finished result, guys. Um, probably not my best um, result, but uh, it is what it is. Um, the decals are a bit shiny. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is about because the paint that I used on this I thought was um, a bit more of a satin finish than the, the paint I'd used on the half track and the M113. Um, 
again the paint on this was a bit of an issue it's the, the AK brand that's um, ready for they say for brush and for airbrush so it's quite a bit thinner than um, their normal 3G paint um, now I prefer <clears throat> I've got to be honest I prefer the paint that you you put it on and almost on your first coat it is you know um, practically done um, just a second coat to finish it off is is the, the kind of thickness I like um, but obviously not too thick in order that it hides some um, small details and things like that so when I'm having to put three or four coats on um, it's not really my bag to be honest um, but I did do a um, satin varnish after I put the decals on um, on this but again I think you can still see the uh, carrier film on um, on parts of it. Um, just a two crew to paint when you have it in this configuration because the other crew are kneeling as if they're firing the um, six pounder gun. Um, so <clears throat> just uh, used um, three gen paints from AK just to get those painted up as well. So that's my um, <laughs> my third entry into the 80th anniversary group build complete. It's <laughs> But it's not, I haven't completed all three yet. I'm still waiting on the first entry. If you remember, it's the 25 pounder with the tractor. Because, again, I'm having issues with paint on that. And I need to um, sort that out before I um, continue with that. So I've managed to get the this done and the half track done. And it's another um, Airfix Classic, vintage classic, that's, uh, that I can put on the shelf and, and tick off. Um, to add to my collection so I'm really happy with that. What's next? Um, I've got two builds on the go at the moment that you don't know about. Um, one of them unfortunately I've lost a part and um, because it's an aircraft it's actually the canopy so I've got <laughs> I've got to write off to Airfix or email Airfix to see if they'll send me another one. The other build that's um, stalled at the moment is a build I started over 12 months ago. Um, I didn't complete it, um, but the mojo was running high, so I've done a bit of a diorama for that. It involved using resin, and I made a mistake with the resin, and so I can't do anything more with that. It uh, should have dried in 24 hours, but of course, only if you use the resin correctly, not like I did, and we're now like five days later, and it's still not dry, but I think it is drying slowly, so. So I don't know what to pick up next. Um, there's the big regroup build that I've got to sort out as a build for. I'm really um and eyeing as to which one to do for that. Uh, there's still the classic plastic um, celebration of life uh, build that I've got to do. Um, so yeah, um, I've got plenty of um, builds that I could pick up for the 80th anniversary D-Day build. I know of at least three I can put my hands on, but um, I don't know where the mojo's um, kind of settling on at the moment, we'll have to see. Anyway guys, I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Thank you for all the um, kind comments on my builds recently, I do appreciate it. And for the views, um, really was a, a boost to my morale. I hope your week is going well. Look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.